Damn it. That didn't work. <laughs> So, hey guys, so I am starting on this new journey and this new canvas on uh, this story about how how I created this canvas and, and what I did to, to really try and manipulate it into different ways and then the emotions behind a canvas. Because it's, it's hard when uh, you're trying to start out and you don't know what the actual meaning is and what the story will tell but now now this this canvas really uh, this piece of artwork now uh, really impacted me in different ways of learning and development through my artistic talent um, and it, it really helped me through the way in which I can tell a story uh, while all actually impacting others and making it um, making it a, a worthwhile journey for people to watch because uh, while I was making this there's four I think four renditions of the the one canvas of the one painting so this is one of them right here um, and and yeah I needed to, to redo it and, and manipulate it and go over it and and now it, it tells even even a greater story than what it was and what it, um, what it could have been if it was just one canvas. Now it's now it's multifaceted, <laughs> like multi-layered, into um, and ingrained into the actual workings of of the piece. Now uh, I wanted to say that like I right now I wasn't that good mindset. I was a bit stressed out. I didn't really feel that. Uh, this I didn't really have a connection that's what I'm trying to say I didn't have a connection to this this painting and I didn't have the connection towards the style that the uh, uh, this commission wanted to be because uh, my client wanted this, uh, this specific outcome and I didn't fulfill that and that's why I needed to, to redo it and that's that's completely my fault because um, I need to learn how to how to uh, manipulate paint and also how to uh, uh, resonate that same feeling towards other uh, inspirations that that they wanted for this outcome. Now this is completely the complete opposite style to what um, the client wanted. Uh, she she wanted a nice peaceful light. Uh, artwork. Instead, this um, provided a detailed but messy and and kind of uh, kind of like uh, abstract, but but it just didn't look it didn't look the part. And I wanted to it to be clean. I want it to be better for everyone to, to understand and to, to know the meaning of the work. So, so uh, now we're going to come into the final stages of how I reflected that and how I uh, made this into something that was now, I think, is a masterpiece. And I, this threw me down, but, but I needed to get back up. I needed to try something else. Again, I was naive and I thought this would impact the work and make it all better. Uh, that wasn't the case. So I tried this out and I said more, more truth before, uh, but it it just made it even more messy. So, so I needed to try um, another way. I needed to, to do something that really really contextualize the meaning behind this artwork and and who's it for and and why I'm doing this for this client. <sighs> this one's way too hard. Wait, I think I've got something. Now I thought this could have worked and it might have with some other type of 
of painting. All of these paintings could have could have worked, um, but just the style wasn't there. The this commission was was based on uh, a proper outcome and uh, specifics towards what they were looking at and what they were feeling. So, and I didn't provide that. So now I needed to try and come up with a solution. I needed to begin with a clean slate. So this is uh, the beginning of the end. Um, it was been a really fun process, and and now this is coming towards the final product. And I worked out this this kind of design and kind of way to manipulate the paint. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm pleased that this actually worked and it actually had an impact on the canvas. Yeah, I got a little bit of eyeshadow now. <laughs> A real artist does. <laughs> a, li a little bit, just a tight tad. Um, a little bit has changed. Yeah, one is um my hair. I just dyed it pink. Um, and then the other is I have this new stand for um this this setup that I have it's amazing it's it's a full-on metal um, tripod which is pretty cool and then I have if you can hear the sound quality I have a Rode um, motorbike mic um, I think it's the not the go but it's the smaller one smaller version and yeah like um, wanted to try and impact you and like the sound quality wasn't as good as before, so now it's going to be great. Um, now it's going to be really, really professional and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to this. Um, this, <laughs> this is another thing that is a little bit different, um, but I hope you guys like it. It was, it was kind of hard when I started because the, the whole theme of this, I, I wasn't um, in a right, in the right mindset of actually doing it yet. Uh, and, and yeah, I kind of used the environment to, to make the water and then that didn't work because it looked too dirty and, and I used this, this black, this really dark kind of color up here and in the color palettes that my client sent me, the darkest color that she wanted me to do. So I'm like, okay, I need to redo the whole painting and try and figure out a way how to merge those colors into this new painting that um, that I painted over the top of the old one. The colors down here need a little bit more attention uh, just to bring in that that nice subtlety of of the ground reflecting off the sun. No, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I like that. Now it's interesting with these paints because these paints actually set in a darker tone. So I need to use a lot of white to try and to fix that tonal difference while they're drying. See like that's the raw pink. So it's see I need to cover this up. So that's the raw pink. And I want it a little bit lighter than than what the actual tube offers, which is great, but um, there's a lot of white involved <sighs> in this in this process. I can't wait to see what she thinks. So I started, and and this is you know, piece by piece. It's it's coming together. Uh, highlights and and reflecting sur reflective surfaces uh, towards. The, the water and, and trying to get that light tone in the pinks and purples. But most of all this this was influenced by a lot of those uh, Instagram artists that that uh, have that, that square uh, cubism effect with their paintings um, but also it, it looks it looks natural. It looks like it's it's meant to be there. So that's what I was trying to go with this this abstract form of uh, a landscape. 
and really uh, impacting those those lines in towards uh, the movement of this paint uh, like a grid uh, like a grid that is forming across the canvas while I was thinking about it in my my head what I changed about this process was I used minimal amount of paint and I started with one stroke and faded it towards the end I hope you enjoy And, and the color is not off anymore so it's it's really relaxing to see how how great it is yeah I kind of went off on a tangent when I was in that rainstorm the whole underlining message is like there's the scars underneath and then there's the, the pure form on the front so it's more speaking about um, there's an artwork underneath this but then over the top if you look if you look further back, you can see the whole picture. Uh, I'm really pleased that that it worked out well. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. This journey of this this painting has been pretty cool. But yeah, uh, hope you have a good one, and I'll I'll see you in the next one. See ya. I wanted to try this. So here's the mic with it, and then this is the mic without without any sound. And then, this is the mic with sound. Get into the mic, see how it sounds. Is it good, is it crisp, is it sharp? I went down to the street and bought some lemons.